Hi boys and girls, I'm Justin and I'll be taking over PCX TV for now since Emil will be going away forever. <laughs> Bye, see ya, peace. <laughs> anyway, early last year I sold Emil my old video card, this MSI Radeon HD 5770 uh, for 1000 pesos. And uh, we've been through a lot together, this video card of mine. <laughs> Fallout 3, Skyrim, Mafia 2, my favorite franchises. This was a very good card. Uh, I've had it since 2009. I've had no problems with it. It was a great GPU, but it served its purpose. And after more than six years of high usage, um, I think it's just right for me to breathe more life into it by replacing its thermal paste. Okay, now the thing is, uh, I cannot find any schematics, not schematics, of this specific video card on the interwebs. So we'll be doing uh, this process very carefully. Uh, what we'll be doing is we'll take pictures of it uh, through a smartphone before we unscrew anything or remove anything so later on when we put it back together we'll have a reference so welcome to pcx tv's first episode of pa help on how to replace your old video cards thermal paste before we get started remember that this process will void your warranty Okay, so unless you know what you're doing, we do not recommend this. This video exists only for your viewing pleasure or a guide if you have a similar video card and plan on doing the same. I'll be using the Arctic Clean cleaning kit for this process to remove the thermal paste. And I've found on the net that you can use 90% alcohol for this, but I've went through Handyman, Ace Hardware stores, in your ordinary hardware stores and I can't find any 90% uh, alcohol so guys if you know where to get one let us know down in the comments and do not use paint thinners or lighter fluids just don't now we'll wipe off the old thermal paste with this microfiber cloth and uh, replace the old one with an arctic silver 5 thermal paste a favorite among overclockers and you can use other thermal pastes like this that comes with aftermarket CPU coolers and that's a good substitute. Okay, let's get started. Uh, we're supposed to be taking pictures of the 5770 before we disassemble it. But upon closer inspection, uh, there are no other attachments to the PCB except for this back plate for this heatsink. So all we need is to remove this and we'll be removing the heatsink. Uh, before we remove those screws, let's remove this connection first. Okay. And... Okay. I am at angle. Uh, okay. I'm at angle. <laughs> yeah. Mm. This is a pretty old card, so medyo uh, naninigas na yung mga connections. Okay, let's scratch that. Di na natang tatanggalin kasi medyo makunat na yung connection. Pwede naman kasi may allowance na wire, so we'll just remove the back plate. Okay. Okay. We'll remove this in alternate uh, opposite order. So from this corner, and then we'll remove this. Para even yung distribution ng pressure ng chip sa chip. And we'll be attaching it later on in the same manner. So, luluwagan mo natin siya. Yung ganyan. Okay. And then we'll turn here. Yeah. Mm -mm. 
Pwede na magtanim ng kamote niya. <laughs> Yung nakikita yata akong patay na lamok na. <laughs> <laughs> Pag may nakita ang gano'n, matutuwa ko ha, nagkasya ha. Okay, we remove the uh, secure attachment. <clears throat> And then we'll turn this over. Okay. Now let's see how crusty the inside of it is. Ayun. Okay, so there's the GPU. We'll be replacing the gunk that's built up there. Okay. Okay, so we'll be using the Arctic Clean cleaning kit. This is a two-step process. We'll be using this first to remove the thermal um, material that's been dried up here in the fan and in the GPU. Okay. After that, we'll be using this surface primer to smooth out the GPU and the um, surface of the heatsink. What I've seen on the net is um, they like to soak the GPU, I mean the thermal paste first, but I don't want to do that. So what I will do is dab the microfiber cloth first with the article number one and then just wipe it off repeatedly. Okay. Yeah, kita mo madaling matunaw. Oh. Yeah, so wipe it repeatedly. Yan. Don't worry, I've used this on my CPU na kaya. Hindi <coughs> na tumatakbo yung CPU ko ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's use it on the heatsink. So here it is. Okay. Wow. Wow. Mm, gunk. That's gunk. Now that uh, the old paste has been removed, we'll use. Number two. Okay. So we'll soak the cloth with surface primer there. And we'll wipe the tip. Okay. Shiny and chrome. That's the chip. As brand as new. <laughs> okay, now we'll be putting thermal paste after the surface has been primed. And we'll put as little as possible because when we press down the contact, um, the paste will spread out. I think this amount will be enough. And we'll press down the heat sink down to the screw holes. Okay, there you go. Okay. Then we'll turn this back like so. Let's brush this first because there's been dust build up after years of abuse. There you go. Years and years and years. Years of and abuse. Years of abuse. Okay, now we'll do this again alternate. So we'll start from this corner. Screw it a quarter way down. And then proceed to this corner. There you go. And then this. And then alternately on this corner. Okay. Then we'll proceed to the first corner that we screwed down. And there you go. And then here. There you go. And here. And here. 
putting it down here. Okay, I think that's tight enough. And this one. Okay, that's tight enough. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I can see the GPU. I hope there's no spillage outside the chip. So right now, what we can do is hope for the best. Now, to satisfy our curiosity, we also ran some benchmarks to see if the replacement of the thermal paste had some impact on the video card's temperature readings. And here are the results. So this is my PC, and I'll be replacing, for the meantime, my GeForce GTX 690, which I use for rendering, with Emil's 5770. So there's the card right there. Turn it into the PC. For some reason, the MSI combustor won't run on my PC after installing the new drivers. So we'll be uh, using Firmark to stress the GPU instead. And right now we have the 5770 installed in my PC. And on idle, it's right now running on 65 degrees. And I think that's pretty hot for the BD card. Now we have, we'll just use the presets for the firmark and we'll see how the temps go for the GPU. Okay, we have a disclaimer here and I don't care much for that. Okay, here are the results for the firmark stress test. The GPU temp we've achieved is at 79 degrees. Okay, so we'll be using this preset again like we did before. Some cautionary uh, warnings, and yeah, never mind. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah. So look at the difference. There's more than, let's see, 18 degrees. Wow, that's a huge difference right there. Well, that was fun. I felt really happy that I prolonged the life of my video card. And I think that was an excellent aftermarket service on my part. So that's it for your episode of Pahelp. Like this video if you found it helpful. Dislike it if you did not. Leave a comment down below for discussions regarding this video. So that's it. My name is Justin and I'll see you on the afterlife.